Good morning and welcome to At Home with Roby. I'm Patrick McIsaac from Roby Electric, along with Trent Haston from the Roby family of companies. It is Sunday morning. It's 9 o'clock. It's At Home with Roby time, Trent. At home, baby. At home. We're at home. You're probably in your car, though. If in you're your listening car, yeah. to it or you're podcasting it somewhere uh, later. Ho- hopefully, our audience at home will go check out our podcast. You can listen to uh, all of our shows that are uploaded. Go on the WBT website. Go to At Home with Roby and, and you and check it out. But we, we have some interesting shows. Uh, today's another one. I'm, yeah. I th- I'm, I'm predicting it's going to be a good one. Uh, we're... we're Carl Howard from Auto Bell is going to be with us today. Uh, third generation family business based out of Charlotte. Started now, in now in five states. Yeah. 1969. Carl is a fellow Tar Heel. They're big into charity. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they do the right thing. I mean, I mean, they're real big on branding and 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 having a good image and, and very family focused business. So. Well, and also a client. We did a project for their for them. We did a renovation on their home in. in uh, uh, grandfather, right? It's a grandfather in the mountains, but Boone area. So check us out, please. Yeah, Trent. I think I think he he'll probably clarify the exact amount, but I think it's over seventy locations they have, which is unbelievable. I mean, I don't think you can drive through North and South Carolina, and I know they're into Virginia and, and I believe parts of Georgia as well without seeing an auto bill. I mean, yep. it's becoming that prevalent. And uh, I think we're going to talk a little bit about real estate too. I know you and I have both uh, seen the movie about the McDonald's, Roy Kroc, the founder, which Ray Kroc. Um, which he, that's what he talks about. His business was uh, was mainly real estate, and then of course they made cheeseburgers on the side. But not only do these guys clean and uh, clean your car well <clears throat> and have a great car wash business, but they're also they got real estate as well. Well, also uh, if you haven't been to Auto Bell uh, lately, uh, go by. I, I think it's I think it's four dollars, and you just do a right drive through yeah. wash. Uh, Carl told me about that when we met, because I asked him, I said, there's a lot of car washes popping up. How, how do you feel about them? And he said, well, it's made us be strategic and, and think strategically. So he said, we actually now have, have that wash. Uh, $4 drive through is very competitive. And if if, if I'm going to go that route and I'm in a hurry, I, I'm going to Auto Bell before I go anywhere else. Oh, well, without you question. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, really cool. No, in uh, you know, I don't know about you, but my daughter loves going through that car wash. I mean, there's some cool stuff going on there. They have the. I know Carl's going to get into this, but it's there's some robotics at play, yep. water reclamation at play. Um, I know the wheel. I don't know what it's called, but it, it automatically follows your wheels. Does around. your daughter bark a lot when and, she's uh, in, going through the car wash? No, does oh, yours? No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, one of my sons does. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one cries. Oh, I'm yeah, joking. I'm sure I'm you can't bring a dog through one of those things. Good so I got gracious. something really cool I want to mention. Uh, you, sure. you, you have mentorship down. We talk about that. We're going to talk about that some some with Carl. Uh, but but uh, we have a new a young man that started that with our company That's last right. week. And uh, I happened upon this guy, and he's, he's finishing up. Uh, he has a culinary degree, right. but he's finishing up. He's in his last year getting a corporate finance degree at Johnson & Wales. Uh, and I met him and he, he's very, very, very intelligent and very intrigued by us meeting. He was actually my Uber driver and uh, I was very impressed with how he serviced the Uber driver, uh, serviced me and, and how he was talking about finance and stuff. And, uh, so he is, uh, going to be our, uh, relationship ambassador. It's pretty cool. So, and the goal is. That we can get better and have somebody study our clients, communicate with our clients more efficiently, and then also uh, hopefully improve the service that we provide because we want to provide priceless service. But we also do the same and want to provide service and communicate better to our staff and go. our associates. Make sure you got that. So piece uh, it's it's a two-folded thing, and you know if I could every day <clears throat> get out and 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 spend my whole day out in the field eating lunch with our our staff and asking them what's great about our company and, and what we need to improve on and how their family fam, family their family coming into our company uh i would do it but i don't have enough time so that's going to kind of be be part of his his role so hopefully uh hopefully we'll we'll learn a lot of information and improve our services both to our customers and, and our associates yeah both internal clients and external yep. clients which i think is cool and it's nice that he's 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 so fresh that he doesn't know right. the, the, what our own weaknesses are that we you know that we just we just brush off every day so exactly. it's kind of cool that he's able to take that fresh look so uh, and Mr. we're stubborn Terrell, we don't li- we don't listen to uh criticism well anyway. no. <laughs> so. 
<laughs> That's right, Mr. Terrell Murphy. So uh, hopefully he's listened to the show. If not, we'll get him a copy and he can he can listen to it. So it's definitely a unique thing. And you know, we talked about the need for young people to get in our industry. We talk about this almost every show. Um, so we had the interns. I know you talked last week about the three or four guys that are working uh, labor at Andrew Roby. Yep. We obviously have an intern at, at Roby Electric that had his first week of sales. In fact, I think he closed a sale. Really? Earlier this week. Yeah. Clemson it's, boy? It's third week. Well, you know he's a genius if he went to Clemson. I mean, let's be, let's be, you're right. <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, he did. So it's, it's kind of fun to watch that evolve and to watch the excitement of somebody learning something new and having some success so quick. Well, you know, we always say it's the first 90 days are great, and then the honeymoon's over, <laughs> yeah. and then you go down into this 18 months. They uh, just get to go back funnel. to college. <laughs> He's going to have his 90 days and roll out on you. You're going to handle all of his problems. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be texting him, while, sending him text messages while he's in accounting. Hey, what'd you do at Miss Jones' house? You know, well, you know, like the sto- story goes when I, I was, <laughs> I was uh, I started estimating jobs the summer before my right. senior year at Carolina, and I sold a couple jobs, so I did didn't have Friday classes, and I would come home on Thursday night and work all day Friday and really work all day Saturday. I mean, what was I thinking? My dad's like, go back to school and have fun. And because I would the bug, then I would call him every day. Didn't have a cell phone from my phone in my room and say, <laughs> Dad, you sell that job? We hooked that. Did you sell that job? He's like, leave me alone, you crazy kid. So, uh, so, so, so hopefully you wear Josiah out when he gets back to school like that. Well, the good news is I can get to him a lot easier and quicker nowadays. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll start Send blowing up. His, we'll start blowing up his Instagram account if he doesn't answer. No, there you just, go. I'm just joking, Josiah. Well, but, good. Uh, well, we have a wonderful show. Like we said, Carl Howard is going to join us when we come back. So we hope you're having a wonderful Sunday morning. Thank you for joining us. We'll be right back.